You know that a complex colony of organisms that live in your gut can affect every aspect of your health? So far, scientists suggest that your gut health may play a role in liver health, inflammation, mental health, obesity, diabetes, metabolic syndrome, and conditions like irritable bowel syndrome or inflammatory bowel disease. One very impactful aspect of your gut health is your nutrition. And that's why in today's video, I will uncover the worst foods that attack your gut health and that you should avoid. Avoid. Make sure to watch the video till the end since I'm gonna talk about a food additive that no one mentions. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel to support me. It takes you one second, is completely free and really helps me. Thank you. Let's dive in. Number 13. Raw kale and spinach are often considered healthy due to their nutrient rich profile but they can be harsh on the gut when consumed raw. These leafy greens contain high levels of insoluble fiber which can be difficult for some individuals to digest properly. The fiber can remain undigested as it passes through the digestive tract, causing bloating, gas and discomfort. Additionally, kale and spinach contain compounds known as oxalates, which can interfere with mineral absorption and may contribute to the formation of kidney stones. Kidney stones in turn can cause further problems in your gut and are linked to conditions like irritable bowel syndrome and constipation or gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea. Instead of consuming raw kale or spinach, opt for lightly steamed or cooked versions. The gentle cooking process helps break down the insoluble fibers and reduces the oxalate content, making them easier on the digestive system while still providing essential nutrients. Number 12. Industrialized seed and vegetable oils such as soybean, corn, safflower, canola and sunflower oils are commonly used in processed foods and cooking due to their low cost and long shelf life. However, these oils pose a significant threat to your gut health. They are high in omega-6 fatty acids, which when consumed in excess can lead to an imbalance in the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. This imbalance can trigger inflammation in the gut and throughout the whole body, increasing the risk of various digestive issues. Besides, these oils are rich in polyunsaturated fats which can easily form harmful compounds in your body called free radicals which can cause cell damage. Moreover, during the industrial refining process, these oils are exposed to high heat and chemicals. They are often purified, refined and sometimes chemically altered. This leads to the formation of more harmful compounds such as trans fats and oxidized fats which can further worsen gut inflammation and impair digestion. Opt for healthier fats like extra virgin olive oil, coconut oil or avocado oil which have a more favorable omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, contain loads of beneficial nutrients and aren't processed. If you can't find these, you can always opt for cold pressed variants of vegetable oils. Number 11. While moderate alcohol consumption may not have a significant impact on some individuals, excessive and regular alcohol intake can wreak havoc on gut health. Alcohol is a potent and irritant to the gastrointestinal lining causing inflammation and damage to the delicate mucosal barrier that protects the gut. Alcohol also disrupts the balance of beneficial gut bacteria leading to an overgrowth of harmful microbes. This imbalance known as dysbiosis can contribute to digestive issues like bloating, diarrhea and constipation. Additionally, alcohol can hinder nutrient absorption, particularly important vitamins and minerals further compromising gut health. Excessive alcohol consumption is also associated with an increased risk of developing gastro intestinal disorders including gastritis, ulcers and even more severe conditions like alcoholic liver disease. Instead opt for healthier alternatives like herbal teas, flavored water or kombucha which can provide a refreshing and gut friendly option. Number 10. Artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, asulfame K, sorbitol, xylitol, sucralose and saccharin are widely used as sugar substitutes in various food and beverage products marketed as diet or sugar free. However, these sweeteners can negatively impact gut health in several ways. Firstly, artificial sweeteners are not fully absorbed in the small intestine and reach the colon where they can alter the composition of the gut microbiota. This disruption may lead to imbalances in gut bacteria and potentially contribute to glucose intolerance and metabolic disturbances. Secondly, the intense sweetness of artificial sweeteners may desensitize taste receptors leading individuals to develop a preference for overly sweet foods which can lead to an unhealthy diet and negatively affect gut health. Lastly, some individuals may experience gastrointestinal discomfort, especially bloating and gas after consuming artificial sweeteners, as they can ferment in the gut and produce gas as a byproduct. To still satisfy your sweet cravings, opt for natural sweeteners in moderation such as stevia, monk fruit extract or small amounts of raw honey or maple syrup, which have fewer negative effects on your gut health. Number 9. Genetically modified organisms or short GMOs refer to organisms whose genetic material has been altered in a way that does 
does not occur naturally. Many crops such as wheat, corn, soybeans and canola are commonly genetically modified to enhance certain traits like resistance to pests or herbicides. Some studies suggest that GMOs could potentially disrupt the gut microbiome leading to imbalances in gut bacteria. Others found that consumption of GMO foods can reduce the beneficial bacteria populations in the gut. Additionally, genetically modified crops may contain residues of herbicides. Glyphosate is one of them and can act as a potential gut irritant and affect the gut lining's integrity. Therefore, opting for organic foods and products labeled as non-GMO is an absolute must. Number 8. Refined sugar found in a plethora of processed foods and sugary treats is detrimental for your gut health. Refined sugars include table sugar, high fructose corn syrup, agave syrup and sweetened beverages like soda. When consumed in excess, refined sugar rapidly spikes blood glucose levels leading to insulin surges. This insulin response can trigger inflammation in the body including the gut. Moreover, refined sugar serves as a feast for harmful gut bacteria and yeast causing them to multiply rapidly. This disrupts the balance of gut microbiota, favoring the growth of pathogenic bacteria at the expense of beneficial ones. As a result, gut dysbiosis can occur leading to various gastrointestinal issues like bloating, gas and diarrhea. Furthermore, excessive sugar consumption can impair the gut's ability to maintain a strong barrier function, making it more permeable to toxins and potentially contributing to a condition known as leaky gut. Opt for natural sweeteners in moderation such as raw honey, maple syrup or dates which provide a more balanced and less inflammatory option for satisfying your sweet tooth. Number 7. Factory farmed meat such as beef, pork and poultry is produced in large-scale intensive systems where animals are kept in confined spaces and given antibiotics in growth hormones to maximize production. Consuming meat from such sources can have negative implications for your gut health. The first problem is that this meat often contains residues of antibiotics used to promote growth and prevent diseases in these animals. These residues can disrupt the delicate balance of gut bacteria in humans when consumed, potentially leading to antibiotic resistance and imbalances in the gut microbiome. Furthermore, the diet of factory farmed animals is typically grain-based and may include genetically modified crops. This diet alters the fatty acid profile of the meat, leading to higher levels of pro-inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids and lower levels of anti-inflammatory omega-3 fatty acids, which can contribute to gut inflammation. The gut healthy alternative? Opt for organic, pasture-raised and grass-fed meat whenever possible. Number 6. Processed foods including ready-to-eat meals, packaged snacks and sugary beverages are a significant contributor to poor gut health. These foods often contain high levels of refined sugar, unhealthy fats, sodium, artificial additives and preservatives all of which can be detrimental to gut function. The excessive consumption of processed foods can lead to gut dysbiosis as they provide an abundant source of nutrients for harmful gut bacteria while lacking the essential nutrients that support beneficial bacteria. This imbalance can result in chronic inflammation, compromised digestion and a weakened gut lining. Additionally, processed foods are typically low in fiber, which is crucial for maintaining healthy bowel movements and supporting a diverse gut microbiome. Without adequate fiber, constipation and other digestive issues can arise. The gut healthy alternative? Prioritize whole, unprocessed foods without any ingredient lists. Number 5. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, rye and their derivatives. For individuals with celiac disease or non-celiac gluten sensitivity, consuming gluten can lead to a range of gut-related issues and other systemic symptoms. In celiac disease, gluten triggers an immune response that damages the small intestine lining, leading to malabsorption of nutrients and various gastrointestinal problems. Non-celiac gluten sensitivity, on the other hand, is characterized by similar symptoms but without the immune system attacking the intestine. Even in individuals without celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, some research suggests that gluten consumption may increase gut permeability. This allows harmful substances to pass through the gut barrier and potentially trigger inflammation. Other studies have found that gluten can lead to stomach pain, bloating and fatigue in those without any disease. Gut healthy alternatives are gluten free whole grains like quinoa, brown rice and oats. Number 4. Soy is a controversial food when it comes to gut health as its impact can vary depending on individual tolerance and the form of consumption. While some people can tolerate soy well, others may experience digestive discomfort and gut related issues. One of the concerns with soy is its natural content of anti-nutrients like phytates which can interfere with mineral absorption in the gut potentially leading to nutrient deficiency 
deficiencies. Furthermore, some soy-based products such as highly processed soy isolates and soy protein concentrates found in various packaged foods may be challenging to digest and may contribute to gut irritation. In fact, consuming high levels of soy in your diet can harm your gut microbiome as studies have demonstrated its ability to decrease essential bacteria populations which are critical for maintaining a well-balanced gut. However, it's important to note that whole soy foods like tofu, tempeh and edamame can provide valuable nutrients and can be part of a balanced diet for those who tolerate them well. Just avoid highly processed soy products. Number 3. Refined grains such as white flour, white bread, white rice, pastries, pastas and snacks made with white flour have undergone extensive processing, stripping them of their bran and germ layers where most of the nutrients and fiber are found. As a result, refined grains lack essential nutrients and are rapidly absorbed in the body, leading to sharp spikes in blood sugar levels. This in turn can cause an insulin response which may contribute to inflammation in the gut and other parts of the body. Moreover, the lack of fiber in refined grains makes them less effective in promoting healthy bowel movements and supporting a diverse gut microbiome. Frequent consumption of refined grains has also been associated with an increased risk of digestive issues including constipation, a disrupted gut microbiota and conditions like inflammatory bowel disease. Also here whole grains are the healthier alternative. Number 2. Fried foods such as french fries, corn dogs, donuts, fried chicken and other deep fried snacks are not only high in unhealthy fats but also detrimental to your gut health. The process of deep frying involves submerging food in hot oil leading to the formation of harmful compounds like advanced glycation end products and acrylamide. These harmful compounds can trigger inflammation in the gut and throughout the body contributing to various digestive disorders and chronic gut related conditions. Additionally fried foods are often low in fiber and essential nutrients which are crucial for maintaining a healthy gut. Consuming fried fruits regularly can disrupt the balance of gut bacteria, favoring the growth of harmful microbes and potentially leading to gut dysbiosis, impaired blood sugar balance as well as higher toxin and inflammation levels. Instead of frying foods, opt for healthier cooking methods like baking, roasting, steaming or sauteing with healthier oils like olive oil or coconut oil. And number 1. Carrageenan is a common food additive derived from red seaweed often used to thicken or stabilize various processed foods. It is most often found in chocolate milk, cottage cheese, cream, ice cream, almond, hemp, rice and soy milk, dairy alternatives, coffee creamers and deli meats. Despite its widespread use, carrageenan has been associated with negative effects on gut health. When consumed, carrageenan can trigger inflammation in the gut, leading to irritation and damage to the intestinal lining. This can result in increased gut permeability, commonly known as leaky gut, allowing harmful substances to enter the bloodstream and potentially causing systemic inflammation. In animal studies, carrageenan has been linked to gastrointestinal issues such as ulcerative colitis and colon cancer, raising concerns about its impact on human health. Now you know which foods you have to avoid for a healthy gut, but since there is a connection between your liver and your gut microbiome, I recommend watching my video about about the healthiest foods for your liver health. Go watch it now and I see you there.